Hello friends, how's everybody doing? This is your friend Jeff playing uh, Total Tank Generals. Okay, so I want to I want to just show you the Rommel Extended Campaign. This one is very, very, very difficult. And I'm not going to show it. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to just talk about it, actually. And then maybe I'll try something. But let's go ahead and here for a minute. And we'll go next. And then we're going to... Uh, I'm not going to show you this because that's the same stuff, videos that you've seen already. Okay, so then I want to show you this. You have to win this one in order to unlock this one and so on and so forth and as you can see I got three here but that's because I had to manipulate the uh, file in order to have more turns and then I found out when you do this particular mission if you ever get to it um, you have like very s you don't have many turns to do what you got to do in this battle and the other thing is you got to get to a certain point and capture something uh Herofax or whatever it is and you have to hold it for three turns but what the what happens is even if like i'm going to tell you that i manipulated this to have more turns in it because otherwise i wouldn't even be able to do it and it's a shame that i have to do that and that's why the devs need to really somehow do something to balance these because these are not balanced at all they, they all favor the ai um, and so, uh, yeah, and so they, they spawn like, like, even after many turns of, of destroying tons of their units that they keep bringing in. Um, and don't forget, I'm taking stuff away from them. They're not taking anything away from me. Like, I'm sucking up the map a little bit. And, and what I'm saying is that they can produce, like, say, I, I'm going to just take a, a wild guess, like, they can they can produce with four thousand prestige something that would cost a player to have like maybe twenty units they would need somewhere around four or five thousand uh, prestige and stuff and we just don't get that kind of stuff and then in this one here battle of Aris, right and yeah i got three but it's because you can take one of the objectives of theirs one crown and you may get it but the thing is, if you had to go 10 turns, you wouldn't be able to hold it because they, again, produce 30 units that will just surround you and destroy you and you'll, you won't even get past this. But in five turns, you can hold your stuff and get their one crown and just try to hang on. And so it's a shame that I had to, I had to drop it from 10 to five turns in order to just eke out this three win which made this uh, battle here uh, enough to where I could just get one star in it because you would not believe how this extended version is like this is this took me like four hours to get this and, and obviously I didn't make a video of it and even this one took a very long time and, it, and then it was crazy trying to hang on to something for three turns when the enemy uh, after me killing like tons of their units where the enemy ends up having as many units as they want to have like they, they come at me at threes like sets of three hexes like like a hex each hex each hex that you see there's three units in each one and they just come right at you. And so this is crazy. Now, Operation Crusader is new. Now, this one is not. This battle here, this one here is new. And then there's El Alamein and then they got Cayenne or something way back here somewhere. I don't know if I can show it to you. Oh yeah, I can go like this. Yeah, you can see that. So this is new. This one's not. This one's not. Oh, but then again, first alumine and second, I don't recall them having two alumines. So, so there is something like that. And I don't know about Mercer, not that. But I remember this one. I remember this one, this one, and this one. So it's kind of, 
There's only six in the original campaign. El Alamin is one of them. And, and this is, I think, the last one. But notice how they got this one. So yeah, um, so let's, let, I'll just show you for example, like I don't know how this is uh, gonna be, right? I have, not, I have not seen this and I have not made any changes to this file that you can make a change to off of this. So that means this one's gonna have very minimal turns and stuff and so there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do it, but let, let's just take a peek in it. Second half of 1941. After the German-Italian success at Halfaya Pass, the North African front has reached an impasse. Axis forces wanted to continue their offensive eastward towards the Nile Delta. However, the British did not want to give up easily. A large number of modern Crusader tanks had arrived at the front, enabling the Allies to launch a counter-offensive. Due to a supply shortage, our units need to retreat. Your task is to halt the British attacks and facilitate our troops' withdrawal in an orderly and organized manner. Oh, okay. So we're not... Hmm. Well, we'll have to see what this is. So I've never seen this, but it looks like... But yeah, look. Uh, okay, so... Um, if you hold at least three points after the last enemy turn, you will receive... Own major strategic point. Yeah, but see, this is just like the first battle um, where you have to hold out. So let's go ahead and continue. Alright. Let's see what I wear. Okay. <laughs> Look how this is. This, this is... This is crazy. There's no way I'm going to have enough units for anything. Yeah, so, oh yeah, so here's Halifax. So Halifax is the one that I was telling you in the other battle, where you have to hold this for three turns. And it, it's almost, but see the map was different. Instead of it going this way, it was going this way. So now this thing is reversed. And so yeah, geez. This is gonna be, I don't know, this is crazy. Oh boy. Yeah, so they're telling me I'm gonna have to hold this. These are the, and I don't have much, but I mean, geez. All right, let me see, good. Uh, two tanks. I, I don't know. Can I put this artillery here? Or should I put it here and it can block? I mean, I don't know. Is it more likely that I'm going to get... Um, Alright, let's put that there. I just don't know how where they're gonna. Oh my gosh! Over here too, like ay, ay, ay. All right, so I don't think they can come by the water, but they can do an air. Let me drop one in here for now, right? Because they can't, they can't go in the water. I don't believe, but they can, they, they can do an air strike. As a matter of fact, there's a. Hey, can I actually put a unit in here? I can. All right, there. Oh, and they gave us a couple right here. Well, that's nice. All right, so we'll already have an airport. Oh, so it's almost like I own... Hey, we got two calves here. Alright. I'm wondering if I go first, should I put a a mortar? I have mortars. 
my mortar will be able to do that. Now, where else is the closest enemy? Right here. So if I put a mortar right here, we should be able to hit them. No, probably, yeah, I'll need a med medium tank there. Oh boy. Yeah, actually, just in case they can do an airstrike, I'm going to put somebody there. Now the AA guns, where is the enemy's nearest airport? Right here. And Oh, and they're right there. Uh, put an AA gun there. There's an airport there. Uh, maybe an a AA gun there. Yeah, because if they breach me from here, um, yeah, maybe another AA gun there. Infantry there, light tanks. And we got these, these are ours, right? I'm assuming. Let me see. Assuming that those are them, so be. All right, those are they are medium tank. Like I said, I don't know how they can get over here unless they come this way so I'm gonna assume that I don't need a bunch over here other than to have somebody here because if they do an airdrop they'll take it you know and so that's what what you know that's all that I'm thinking so then so then let me go ahead and put uh, these uh, tanks right here because we'll do we'll launch an attack and then I have one infantry Now I can buy some units. Yeah, I don't have one of these. So let me put one of those there. I don't have a mechanized unit. Um, I have a recon vehicle. Oh boy, I can get. Tank destroyer. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to need another egg or no. I mean, I think I have. Four, but let, let's see. Okay, that that is it. So we'll go ahead and start the mission. I, I have no clue on this. It's the first time I'm seeing this in the extended version. I and and I'm gonna take a guess. Uh, one two three if we don't hold these we lose is what i think so okay so this again 
Uh, how should I open up? This is the first time that I'm seeing this, so I'm, I don't think, unless they do a, a you know, air, air, air drops, I don't think they can get over here. Uh, you can't go across the water, so, uh, 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 so then that means this tank will go here. And I think I'll put him on overwatch. We might lose this, but he's going to go over here so we can see. Alright, so they have the same thing that we got. Okay, so they have this little tiny vehicle. And, and I'm going to tell you something, their little vehicle that they got, like, I, I don't know if I see one to give you an example. I don't, I don't see it yet. But what I'm going to tell you is that they have a little dinky vehicle that's, that's smaller than mine. But it's strong and it can shoot and it, it, it takes away uh, Overwatch and stuff. But... All right, so we see that they got a bunch of tanks right here. Or sometimes what I do is I... I bring an infantry, so should I bring one from here? And he digs in. Okay, so I could hit him and get a two. We'll try it. Oh, we got three actually. Now, considering if I if I take this over here or. Uh, it, 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 we ought to have the tank over here. Yeah, I'll put him over here. And then this one can strike, strike twice here. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Nice, okay. Uh, I'm gonna move that over there. This is like I said. This is for oh, like I'm I'm questioning. You know, like I said, like this guy here. Okay, so let me do this. Lock him in there. Let this guy lock in here. And this one right here, we're going to lock him in. And then they gave us these two tanks. And so I got to figure out if, um, yeah, if I get one way over here. Like, I'm going to hope that they don't do an airdrop, you know what I mean? That's just what I'm going to hope, I guess. To me, it doesn't, like, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm looking at this like a choke point here, and a, and a choke point here is basically what this looks like to me, you know? Like, for example, I think I'm going to take all of these units and send them this way to reinforce this area here against this. And maybe I'm making too much of this, but I don't think so, because like I said, if all of these missions so far had 
automatic spawn points where they can just have numerous and numerous uh, units more than what the player can have and stuff and so <laughs> I don't like that game mechanic that the dev put in this this extended version but so so let's go ahead and see what I can do now we can only go to there well let, let's let's have the cav come up here for a minute let's have the cab go one more and we'll see what's here I mean, I'm just taking a guess. Oh, I got a mechanized unit. All right, let's put him up front here. Now, I could hit here, but I, I think I gotta hit right here with my artillery. And this infantry can move ahead. Okay, so now the question would be, we can go, yeah, we can actually put two shots on him. Uh, all right, we, so it was good putting two medium tanks here. And on top of that, I got the mortar right here. But of course, now, you know, you could see that they have these right here that are going <laughs> to come and attack us, excuse me. And we know that these guys are going to attack. I don't think I have... Well, yeah, I do have this tank here. Let's try it. Five to one. Now, I could extend him to here. And we could actually, if we hit him, if we miss, it's going to be nothing. But we could possibly destroy him. And the Ann, with this particular tank, if he kills somebody, he has the, um, gets extra AP. So should I put another one on that tank? We might take two damage. Yeah, we did take it. And I don't believe that I can... Well, yeah, I can, I can, he can, he can fire. Well, we're gonna try to hurt the tank. And we took three on him. We took three on him. And he'll dig in. And like I said, well, all we got to do is hold them off. But, you know, again, when it's their turn, they're going to come at us now. 
again, if we destroy a unit, we can have this, and then we can fire again. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And we got another one that... This is always a tough decision for me, but the range would be nice. That way I don't have to move them. Because if you don't move them, you can shoot them twice. If, if you move them, you're going to shoot once. And stuff like that. So I, I might be at the point where... Oh, actually I could shoot him, so why not? I mean, any shots that we can do. Alright, so if we just cycle through our units, we'll know which ones we didn't use. Well, I thought I... Alright, so this guy could. I mean, do I? Oh, see, they. they we know they got one. <laughs> they got more units here, but I. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna try to push us away. So if he goes here, at least we have a little bit of protection, and we're we're advancing to a a point that. And we actually have an ash thing, so we could put on some protection. I just don't know where we should put the protection on. Let's try that. Okay, we'll go next. I don't want him. I'll put him on Overwatch. I, I don't want to put him here because he'll get blasted. I'm just trying to see what units uh, that I'll be able to use, but I, I'm thinking we just have to hold our positions. Uh, we are going to get hit. We may lose a unit, but I, I don't think I want to advance anybody. I, I want to just uh, see... Okay, so we're just going to burn a turn. So let's see what the enemy is going to do. This will be the first time we've seen it. Yeah, this is the little little recon thing I wanted to show you. Oh, now that was good having to... I, I found that you have to have... See, they got these guys here. These, these are... These are terrible. These are they see how they push us away? And and like I said, and in the last battle, when you had to survive in whole Halifa or whatever, they came with like ten of these. Like it, it, it was just unbelievable. It was unbelievable. They can produce so many units. High end units. Look at this. Look at this. Look. This is not going to be easy at all. They're going to throw everything they got at us. And they all focus on one unit to kill them. Like that. Yeah, that's what they do. And see, he's shooting my recon and then the horse is going to come up. And then my, my tank missed. So yeah, they're, 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 they're really trying to break into us. And then they have the mortars. And then they got their artillery. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to see... 
Oh, uh, phew. Okay, so that this is the. Okay, so this is my turn too. And all I'm trying to tell you is that uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this without making any changes to the file. Like this is the way it is. Now, if I discover that this is too hard, then I'll make changes. But until then, and it's a shame that a, that a person has to do that because of the way the dev made these extended version thing. And so, anyways. Let me try to see if I can recover from this. Let's... I, I don't even know where to begin, but... <laughs> Alright, let's go with the mortar first. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I put a little bit on him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the what uh, what I can use first. So he's going here, and we're gonna see. Oh, and that's a miss, but it's enough for him to retreat. All right. Well, let's try these guns first. He leveled up. Ah, oh, and he missed. Okay, well, we do have a level up. Now, what can I do? Oh my gosh, look at this. All right. Well, you're you're in good strength, five to two or four. No, All right, let's do two shots, and that's a miss. Oh, I hate misses. Yeah, do I go out there? Yeah, see, like I said, I only have two, but three, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough over here, but, um, hmm. My cab is almost dead, but I can't get him out there. We're all the two. Oh, we're too boxed in. Boy, this is really tricky. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else I could have put over here. Like, you know, did the did did I have to have all medium tanks over here? Because, yeah, I didn't think that we would get hit. Yeah, see, this here right here is an auto spawn point right here. And this is one right here. And in the, uh, oh yeah, and look at they have one, two, three here. And four. So, I mean, yeah, these are all what I call auto spawn points. And it just means each turn they're going to sp spawn something here with no cost factor. And then they'll move forward. And they're just going to keep on coming. If you watch my LL Lamine Ramo campaign, it's the fifth battle in the campaign, you will know that I put uh, five units on five hexes to stop them from doing that. In the third turn, I did that. And that was the only way to stop an onslaught. That was the absolute only way to stop that. And, and that's where I first saw this cheat mechanic in the game. And I, and I just, uh, I mean, just give them, if you want them to have a lot of units at the start of the battle, give them the amount of units where you, you, you load this up with the amount of units that will represent their army. So if you want, you, you know, if you want all these hexes with three units in each of them, do that but don't allow every turn that they can keep s sending units i mean that that's a that's like like i don't I, I i i would never play a game that just is 
that is just wave after wave after wave vetiv. I mean, I think that would be the most ridiculous game ever and stuff like that. And, and I wouldn't play those kinds. So, all right, let me get back to the problem here. But I, I got a real problem here. There's too many, there's, there's a big threat here. So, yeah, well, okay, well maybe I should, let's see if we did do something here, then maybe we can use some of these units to come over here and, and help us. Because I don't think this is an adequate force to stop what is coming to us. Because this is what, how, the en how the AI cheats. They have one, two, three, right? And they come from this, this auto spawn point here. And this just means next turn, they're gonna have another three right here and stuff. And that's without getting this. You know, if they get this, they get 300 prestige so they can make some more units, but I'm just saying, um, I don't like that. That's, to me, that's a cheat. It's a cheat that they can just produce, they can produce another three of these right here and because they're mechanized they can get right here in one turn i mean it, it's it's problematic and that's why i don't like it but anyways let's see if what we can do oh yeah and he is uh hurt oh jeez see the problem all right well you can hit this one only two You're my good calf, so you will go ahead and try to kill him. Please hit him. Thank you so much. Thank you. And he leveled up, so we'll always do a like always do that. Ignore rivers or closed attack. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, I don't even see any rivers. <laughs> yeah, I see big ocean and you know whatever. But okay. All right, now, yeah, see, and now I can do this for him now that there's no enemy in that sector. So we can now do this to survive him. We can't do this to the AA gun, so we could possibly lose that gun. He's, uh, and, and what's nice is he survived that, that onslaught. So now, yeah, if I hit him, we should kill him. And that makes that he survive. Let's make him motorize. Ah, yeah. Hey, and my guy here is like full health. Now this cab is about well, you know what? Actually, I could do this to keep him alive right there because there's no enemy adjoined to him. So remember, um, we're on defense. We have to survive with what we got until 11 of their turn. You know, like, uh, if you look here. Yeah, I don't think we win at turn 11. I think we win if when their turn 11 is done. All right, now I do get one shot. Yeah, I can't, I can't get out. Oh, and I, did, I lost my mortar. It looks like I lost my mortar. Yeah, I didn't realize that, you know, it would have been, I mean, it would have been better to have a tank in here and, and that mortar out of here. So, yeah, I lost some mortar. Darn it. Hmm, man.
All right, well, he's going to have to go in here. And of course, that's a miss. Yeah, one more. Yeah, I mean, all we can do is really hold. But, okay, so uh, we, we killed the these, right? But what I'm trying to tell you is... When it, once they turn, they're going to spawn three more. And then they'll come to here, or they'll come... You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's just it's just frustrating. It is, it is totally frustrating to have to deal with this kind of thing. See, these are normal spots on the map where they could put somebody in here. But what these things are is I've learned to hate these things. I've learned to hate these because th that's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, do, do you realize with a dev giving them six hexes that are just three units in each of these can spawn? So, so six, what is uh, six times three? Six, 12, 18. They can make 18 units in one turn for free, for free. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if the dev wanted to do that, then give me two hexes that give me free high-end units every turn to, to counter this. I can't counter... If they can, if they can make 18 units in the next turn, yeah, they have to travel this way. Like, look, you already see them coming. And I'm telling you, like, every one of these has three units in them, probably, and stuff. And, and it's like, how can I survive this? But, okay, I shouldn't complain, but I was going to make a video of this to show how ridiculous this is anyways. And then... You know, and so but so let's go ahead and get back to the game. Sorry for my my rant. And again, I could use these units. However, um, it wouldn't surprise me if they take a plane and come over here and do a drop right here and then take this. So I mean, and I would lose. So, anyways, all right. So the mortar did his thing, and he's gonna have to be reloaded. So we got one mortar left, it looks like. We got an AA gun that already fired. We got this AA gun that already fired. And this one that already fired. Now this tank didn't fire, so now we have a choice. Hmm. Well, we got him right here. Didn't necessarily, didn't necessarily want to have a tank right there. That was a mistake. I keep making that mistake. see he got his AP back so he can shoot another time so the question is hey we could try to hit this guy because he's hurt let's see Yeah, 
he fired. Well, we could try that and then do that. We could put another one here. It's t we're taking a chance. We're taking a chance, but you know, we're trying to do it. And so this opens this up a little bit. So now, if I put this tank here, And of course he misses. I mean, that's the way it goes. Now this thing. Uh, the recon has to resupply. All right, well, we're gonna have to put this tank here even though he can't shoot. Well, he's gonna have to go here to hold this hex anyways. So now if, if, if we can hold, you know, if we can hold the onslaught, I mean, we could go here but no, we got to hold this and we have to hold what we're holding here. Yeah, I don't know if the AA guns need to go here or not. I'm going to have to resupply him. All right, well, this tank can go here, this little one. I mean, they gave us some of those, I guess. So, all right. We're gonna call that there to help us, just in case. So the question is, are we good enough to survive this next onslaught? Oh no, I do have a choice with this tank to shoot somebody. Oh no, that is good. And his AP is restored. So we could get another couple of shots. Now we could put five damage on him tw twice. Or should we do it put... Nah, cause see four and four will not kill him unless we get lucky. Would it be better just to hurt one of their tanks? Yeah, I can't do it. Well, we did eliminate one of their tanks. And over here, just dig in for now. You dig in. Yeah. Hey, we could actually make something. We could make an infantry unit. Let's see this. Yeah, both of these are... Okay, let's... I have three, well, I don't know, I have, I have two units here, I have one unit here, so if I put the new guy here, 
And if I go ahead and do that, that'll help these two. And you know what I mean? I, I, I have to make, obviously you can see what we're doing here. And the dilemma is that we're making a block here, but we don't have a, enough because of these auto spawns that are gonna keep coming. And so the idea would be is to try to destroy as much of these as we can. But let's go ahead. This is a dilemma. And, and you'll see, you'll see if this pays off. Um, if they do an airdrop, uh, he'll. This this is a lot of protection, you know. And he's there. And same with this guy. Guy. These, these are weaker guys, but. You know, again, the goal is to get get them where they're on Overwatch, and so if they do a drop, uh, we'll be able to hold that. And the reason we got a little bit of this is because some of my units have trophy where they kill a unit, they gain some XP or prestige, it's called. All right, I'm just gonna have to burn it. Let's see now. See, I have, I have three AT guns over here. Now, here they come. See, they all focus on one to push them out. And, and this is how they win, is by having all these units. Like, it's just a constant onslaught. And it's, it's you know, it's something that you have to deal with, obviously, but... I just wanted to see if I could do it with what I got. You know what I mean? Oh, so they can sh they can shoot. They can shoot from here, there. Wow, I didn't I didn't know that they could do that. That is something I did not know that they could do. I would so want to kill those mortars right there. This is why you make fortifications, because that's what they do. Oh, we survived. Oh, we survived three turns. Okay. <laughs> we survived uh, three turns without losing. Uh, uh, we lost units, but we didn't lose uh, any of the strategic points yet. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I just got to take a moment to consider things. Okay, let me see what's going on. Yeah, and look, see, look. Here's, here's another unit. Here's another unit that they just generated. There's more units that they generated. Look. And, and now those things gone away for now, but it's because they already produced units. And they're, and they're all covered, but this is what... Oh, okay. Now, unfortunately... Uh, well, if I were to resupply him, right? Let me see if I resupply him. Recover 5 HP. So he... 5. So he wouldn't get... Hmm. Yeah... If I send him up here, I'm gonna see the problem I got right is he's out of ammo. If I move him to save him, he won't have any ammo and he won't be able to do anything. And then next turn, I have to give him the supplies. If I give him the supplies now, does does he have enough health to survive the next thing? But if we can eliminate these units, maybe he won't get hit. 
Or, you'd, but this would be kind of chancy. Right? Um, I guess I own these hexes. So if I were to put him here for just a moment and do that to make it a little bit better protection. I don't have enough to make an infantry unit to put here. But because my theory is that they'll they'll land a plane over there, but I do have three AT AA guns. So now that I try to spare his life. And he's and he and he ha and he now has ammo. So if he can survive the next turn, he'll be able to then fire twice. So with that said, let's see the status of our units here. Oh man, I'm trying to see ah, what I can do here. All right, look. Can you hit this guy right here? And you miss. I, I was counting on the seven damage and he missed. See, this is the thing that we have to deal with at times. I can't get any, I can't get a hit from this one. So suppose I, suppose I put him in this one here, I guess. And he'll just have to not participate, I guess. Okay, so I got this tank here. Let's try another hit. Yay, now that is okay, great. He's got his uh, kill, so that's good. Gave him a little bit of XP. All right, so we're just eliminating units of best we can here. Um, now this guy is hurt, but it might be, yeah, he'll only get one damage on him. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, how about this one? Yeah, he's hurt too. This one is not hurt. Now, <laughs> again, I have to decide. This is almost like free shots to get him because uh, he can't shoot back because he, he came out of the hex. We could grab this and get some, but then we're in danger of all these guys hitting us, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to... Oh, he doesn't have enough AP. Okay. I mean, it's possible. And his AP, and he leveled up. This unit has three additional soft and hard attacks when attacking enemies standing in close terrain. Hmm, or ignore rivers or motorized. Hmm. I 
All right, now uh, I gotta decide something here because, like I said, this is getting a little challenging. Where do I do I do this here and, and, and to try to keep these guys alive and protected? Is there anybody that's at full strength? You see, I, 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 I'm wondering if I were to... It's not like I want to get this, because if I go in here, even though we have some protection, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven units here. They all can fire into here. So if, if we... If we do that, and if this one does this, then should I not shoot with these guys and give them resupply? I can't do that for him, but, and I can't do it, for, I can do it for him too, yeah, they are. And as you can see, um, we, uh, we, uh, what I was going to say was, like I said, uh, the, these AA guns have been stopping their attacks with the air. And then all I can do on this side, because I only have one, is put this here to protect our, protect us. And so now that we, we're on this side now, we got to decide how to do this and preserve our units. You know, I, I, <laughs> that's a lot right here. I mean, that is a lot. I'm gonna have to hit him. I gotta hit that. That is a lot right there. Oh yeah, and my AA gun, I'm gonna have to do that to resupply it so it stays alive. Unfortunately, and that's why I'd put it back there, I guess. Yeah, so I could move this guy to here. And he'll dig in. And then this guy, I can move to here. And he'll dig in. Calvary will resupply. Now this tank. But well, we're going to take a loss, but let's go ahead and try. Wow, we didn't take much from him. Jeez. <laughs> oh, nice. We got two of them dead. He just killed those two units he didn't level up. Oh, that's too bad. All right, now this guy. Oh, and I. Oi, gee, I've got a problem. 
I mean, they have enough to push our guys out. Okay, look. First of all, you've got to go here and do that. Okay, you got to because they they they're trying. If they if they push all if they push these two out, um, they take they automatically move here and take this from me. And so therefore, um, I can't allow that to happen. At the same time, I feel that as much as I would like Okay, I don't even know who I'm selecting at the moment. Hold on. Like for example, this tank here, he's out of ammo. So I have to resupply him. This tank is not out of ammo, but he is hurt. Now this tank can't do anything. Is it this? Okay, this tank, he could shoot. He could shoot him, right? And get three damage. So technically, if he hits him, he can kill him. If he gets that, let's see. And he missed. See, this is, he missed. So this is probably going to get him killed. Because the only place I can go is here. Oh man, this, this is totally... This is totally frustrating in, in a way, because I, I, you know what I mean? They, they have so many units that came and stuff, and it just hurt our guys, and it's just, there's no place for this tank to go. Like, why can't he, he can't, I guess he can't go two hexes. I mean, I res resupplied who I could, I guess. He's here. I'm going to hope that he can hold off. I mean, he can shoot again, it looks like, even without ammo. He's going to be the first one killed. I mean, I, I, unless I put him here, but then if I put him here, what's going to happen is this guy's going to do it. But at least this guy does have ammo. So he can go in here. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to hope. Cause see, if these two tanks hit him and they hit him, he's dead. But I can't, you know what I mean? I just, I, I don't know the best strategy on this one just as it is without changing anything in that that config file thing or whatever but all right I'm just gonna cycle through I don't believe that he can do anything I don't believe he can do anything because we gotta hold these and then I even got nobody here and I got nobody here. All right, we're just gonna cycle through and see if we can do anything. Yeah, well, I can put him on Overwatch, obviously. Oh, now this tank here can shoot. So I gotta make a decision here of who does he shoot. I almost sent him over here by mistake. That would be a big mistake. And see, the wonderful thing is he can shoot again because he killed this unit. Hmm. 
Yeah, the only one he can see is this one. You know, I think I'm just going to put him on Overwatch because he's going to need ammo. I'm just going to put him on Overwatch. And he's going to need ammo. Alright, folks. We're going to have to just burn a turn and see what happens. I mean... Let's see. Let's see if they push us out. I mean, they've, they've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, and he's... See how that little, little, little vehicle? See, and that sucks, right? Because my AA gun didn't take him out. That, that extra plane up there didn't help. And, and he was able to do his thing. This is what they do. They just do everything to wear you down and then... So again, we're just trying to hold as many hexes as we can. Now he's gonna push him. See, and I lost that mechanized unit, but I mean... Oh yeah, see, they, they, they want that mortar killed. They, they can shoot from there. But this is why we wanted a couple of hexes because you know what I mean if we just defended where we started from then they would push us out of our crown and we would lose. All right so now again now this is turn four for me and then they'll have a turn four and again we're at a dire problem with and like I said Look it, now they're back again, see? Look, so they got these back again. Look, so that's one, two, three. Three that I see, right? So now they have just three, but that will be nine units that they will generate. And these are usually high-end units. Like a, it could be a medium tank, it could be a light tank, it could be mechanized infantry. It could be all three mechanized in infantry that they'll move up to here. And then the next turn, they'll be here. I mean, it's, like I said, I don't like it. Like, please give them enough units to make this battle interesting but not something ridiculous where where they can produce, like I said, 12, 1,500 prestige. I mean, they've killed some of my units, yes, but they haven't taken any of my areas, none, zero. So they should not gain thousands and thousands of prestige, prestige to, to build you know, like 18, 9, or 12 units, or whatever, 9 units, 6 units, they just don't have it. And, and yet they still doing it. And, and that's the way they made it. But I gotta try to deal with it, right? And we're just seeing if I can play by the rules to see if I can do this. Because if I can't play by the rules, then obviously I'm gonna do something different. Like, I, 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 can, I can change this to where instead of 11 turns, I just do 5 turns. And so, we're at turn 4 where it's already a challenge. And we just have to, we'd have to just go... The AI gets its 4th turn and then its 5th turn. If we survive that, we win. But to go to 11 might be unrealistic because of the simple fact that... When I count three of these, that's three, six, nine units that they're going to produce on their turn. And then you're going to see these little questions uh, somewhere over here. I mean, it's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. It's a cheat. And so now that I know that these idiots can shoot from there...
I got a tank. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll sacrifice him. I don't care. I'm just gonna move him up. All right. So let let's try to see if if we can deal with this. I I don't know if I can. AP restored. Alright, so then if I can use somebody else to hurt this guy. Now he's at three, so if I if I take this guy here. If I fire one more time, if I hit him, I kill him. Let me see. All right. And see, by doing it that way, he gets his um, AP back some, which is enough to fire one more time. And I'm thinking if I put the f shot on him. Now it's four. All right, well, wait, if we can kill him, he'll be able to resupply. So if you could do it, let me see. So now this guy here, we can resupply him because the, the enemy is no longer here. But yeah, he, here's those auto spawns. I mean, boy. All right, so we do have the use of this. Well, I think we're going to have to hit this. We're going to have to hit that. And does that mean I don't have any mortars? I lost a mortar here. I lost a mortar here. Now, I didn't even know at the time. Like, I, I, I even gave you the rationale of either... Maybe moving him here, I could have spared his life and just lose him for two turns. Instead, I totally lose him because not only did this, this, this one, or one of these over here shot him, and the calf shot him, but I didn't know, and then this guy came up to kill him. I mean, because that's what the, that's what the enemy does, is they look for anybody that they can kill, and they do that. Which is okay in one way if he would have survived because then he's over here. Now he has to waste some AP to get up here. But Okay, so let's get back to the initial problems of what we have here. So we have this tank here. We have this tank here and this one. We have him and him. So then let's, let's try with the AA guns. That one missed. It's unfortunate. But it and he missed. Two out of the three missed. But he got him, so I'm happy with that. That's the first thing that we look at. Okay, now the next thing. So this tank is okay at the moment. Okay, now wait a minute. I got my, my tank killer. Yeah, the only thing that bites with this one is he can only shoot once, like, like...
Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have to just use them, I guess. Um. And he put A, and we finally got to level him up. I guess we should go with G, or maybe... Boy, this is going to be hard, but... Will 5% will accuracy really help? I don't know. Let's... See. Okay, so now that he fired, and that's all that he can do... I see, I was... Boy. Alright, now I'm trying to figure... Alright, I had said if I if I get um, some I would I would put put a unit here because I want somebody sitting there. Cause believe me, I, the AI can do that. They can fly and drop somebody. So uh, I, the reason I know that is because that happened in a battle of mine. They actually landed, took it, and they won. <laughs> And the battle was over, so I mean, I know <laughs> that they could do that. Like something like this, I'm not totally worried about, just like the airport, I guess. But the, the crowns are very important. The AI knows how to drop a, a unit nearby, kill whatever unit is nearby. But I, but I really got all this protected, so I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that he'd survive long enough for me to then move a unit over there to help out, but... Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, the dilemma I got is... is... these guys are hurt. But... we could... we, we could at least try to hit somebody... No, I, I didn't do that. What? Well, this tank can shoot. Mm, three on one. So we got one him. Yeah, just for survivability. And now he's he's fairly good, so it's possible. Yeah, I don't like that, so I think we just take a shot at either this tank two or do we hit that one? And then we resupply him. Hey, and this guy can fire once. I thought he could fire once. Wait a minute. Alright, so now I gotta decide right here of who can go in here. He can go in there. We we might We might lose a unit, but I'm gonna say Overwatch for him. Yeah, maybe 
Maybe... Maybe we do that. I've got to resupply this tank. And this one's already been resupplied. Well, we're going to have to take a chance and go here. And we'll take one shot. And we put four on him. This might be bold, uh, putting my AA gun up here, but he's got to be able to shoot somebody, is the way I'm going to look at it. And stuff like that. He can't do it right now because he moved all that way. Maybe he could have went here, be safer, but... Um, this is just on trying to survive an onslaught. And now I'll just cycle through the units again. I mean, could... Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if we could use the... Should I... Like, I don't see any units here at the moment. I know more are coming. Maybe we could get this. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, see, not really. Yeah, so now I'm going to lose him next turn. So yeah, yeah, we have to destroy this thing here. Well, maybe we can try. Let's go ahead over here. All right, now that in itself... Okay, so I can get some white tanks. Or I could, I lost a mortar. I could buy a mortar. <laughs> oh boy, this is, this is, uh, this is challenging in a way, because like I said, what do I, I lost my two mortars, so I, I think I gotta get a mortar. So if I buy a mortar here... Oh man, this guy is at... Uh, one health. He's at one health. He's literally at one health. Ugh. Yeah, so as you can see, I, I, this tank, he has two more shots and then he's he's done until I do that. But then this guy here... And that tank, I, you know, that little one I spared, so yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, he could, he could go all the way over to here. If. Oh. Alright, next unit.
All right, so who? The recon. Yeah, the problem I got with the recon is if I put him here, he's going to get killed. Uh, so I'll just put him on overwatch. Yeah, none of these can do anything. I mean, I think he, he can fire pretty far. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to move him. All right, let, let's see what happens, folks. I, I, uh, oh yeah, and I need the air, I need the air protection. He's out of ammo, but I can't give him ammo now. I can only give it to him in the next turn. So let's 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 see if th this is going to be anything. Now, see any unit that walks away, they're going to re. See, and I don't think they should be able to do that. So there's another cheat that I just seen on the AI side. That's cheat. unless unless. Uh, yeah, that, that's nice that we did that. Okay, but... Yeah, see? We, we gotta kill those players. Okay, so what I was gonna say is what I saw, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tell you, and this is why I call it cheat. That the devs made this to where the AI can cheat all the time. Like, it, it's, it's totally an unfair thing. Okay? Right? Because what I just seen them do... Yeah, see, I knew. They, they always go for that recon. See all these fresh units that they have? It's because they can produce six, seven, eight, ten units. I mean, it's so frustrating. This is, like, really frustrating. Yeah, and they captured my tank. I mean, this is 100% frustrating. And this is why... I didn't make videos of, of the extended version because this version is so... It's a bunch of crap. It is. He just took out one of my AA guns. I mean, yeah, give the human player... Give me 18 units, fresh units that don't cost nothing. And look, these are all... These are light tank, but they're crusaders, right? So they're, they're, they're definitely... Level 3, level 3, level 3, a light tank, level 1, and this guy is a regiment royal tank, medium. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is, look, if I go to, look, let's go over there to the tanks, right? 400, it costs 400 for a medium tank. 340 or 310 for a light tank, right? But medium tanks start to go up, then the tank destroyers, the, the biggest one right here, heavy tank, 620, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just showing you this as an example. And then artillery-wise, you can see 700, 400, 320, uh, anti and all this stuff uh, around this range. And then the infantry and stuff like that. And then mechanized unit 360. Remember when I showed you that they had three mechanized units that just came over here? Well, that's that's um that's 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 over a thousand prestige to make those three units. And and and, and all I'm saying is yes, I have an army. And then and then they gave me a couple of little tanks over here, and I think they gave me some over here, two little tanks. Um, and then I had to fill in everything else. And, and, and they should be the, able to do the same thing. But if we look over here, right now we don't see those auto spawn points anymore because they already had them and they, they already moved forward and that that. And then the next turn, they'll have them again. 
And so they have an unlimited amount of resources. And I know you have to make the battle interesting, but still, did you have to make it so ridiculously hard? I mean, that's all I'm saying. Like, again, watch my El, um, El, Me, El Amin battle. Just, just, just move the, speed up the video to the point where I'm on my third turn. And you will see what I did to stop this. But I can't do... I, <laughs> kid, do you think you can get anybody along this magical area here and, and block one, two, three, all these hexes? There's no way that you can do that. And, and all we got to do is survive. So quite frankly, if I, if I go into the config and change it... Not the config, it's called a uh, SC... SCN uh, file. You can go in and change the turns if you want. Now I wouldn't do that in the regular game. And, and, and so the regular game I showed you vanilla, you know, me playing through the whole thing of all three campaigns. Um, that, uh, that is that. And only in that one battle, the fifth battle of the German campaign, I, I know that that's the, the AI cheat thing. It's the first time I ever saw it. But anyways, um, let, let's go over here. Uh, I did my rant again in this game, and I'm sorry to have to do that, but it's just that I don't agree with the way they made this. Like, that, you know what I mean? AI should never be able to just produce anything they want every single turn. I mean, it, it's, it's, you know what I mean? The player can't do that. So, so that's a, a lazy way of, of making an AI uh, super because um, that's just a dev being lazy about it and not creating a better unit. Instead, they, they create a cheat where it's a, a river flowing that never stops. And, it, and, it's, and it's ridiculous. So yeah, I don't know if it'd be better does not increase normal attack range. But it can interrupt. Or do I go with... Yeah, I... I, I don't know. So he's way over here. So it's possible. All right, there. And I'll make another infantry unit right here for now. And we're all clogged in here, but we, we got to protect this. So anyways, okay, so let's work on the problem, I guess. So they got, they got, now don't forget, they're going to have, so there could be three here, there could be three here. There could be three here and here. We don't know that. And then we got this problem right here. But we do have somebody who upgraded, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll dodge tanks. I mean, I, I guess he can stay here for now. Now this Calvary will have to be resupplied. This Calvary too. I don't, he, why don't I, why don't I put him here to, to go on overwatch. He's probably going to get killed. This one might when, when, if, cause if there's three units here, that's, that's the, that's problematic, you know what I mean? It, it really is. And now over here. Let's take a look and see. 
Now, he's almost dead. And this guy, I was worried that we would lose him. So he's almost dead. So we're gonna do that. Now this thing is fully ready. And so I, I, I... Yeah, either, okay, so yeah, we're gonna move him to here maybe. Alright, so I'm going to expose these guys because we've got to do something to kill what we can kill. I don't know what we can kill, but we're going to try. And that's a miss. And that uh, that's very unfortunate. It really is. Well, this guy, I, I'll take a chance with him. I'll take a chance with him. And that's what I wanted. And AP restored, and we can do stealth. And we can do stealth. Okay, so now we got that, uh, we got that going, um, sorry, my, my phone is doing something, alert, okay, so anyways, alright, so what we're gonna do here is see what else we can do, now we got the use of this, Okay, well, we got the use of this, so we're going to have to do it. <laughs> That's the first thing. And now I got a mortar. So got this question mark here and there, but um, where could the mortar go? I'm gonna send my mortar out that way, I guess. Um, I guess with these tanks here... We could put our AA gun right here. And we can at least fire at somebody. And we only put four on him. We got air protection. Yeah, motorized will go here for now. We'll try to hold these these hexes. 
on this side and now over here. Now we gotta try to make some good decisions. Because, like I said, if, if I lose this line here, they, they can get to this objective. You know, and we've only done five. I mean, they haven't even had their fifth turn. But my argument, and, and I lost this gun right now. And my argument is that, you know, they, they get so many free units. Like, we don't see those spawn points right now, so maybe next turn they'll show up again. I mean, I'm just saying that this is just too much. And, and, and if anybody out there knows how we could disable that function in that, that screen file, please write it in the comments. Because I would definitely disable that. Especially if I'm going to play by the rules that I have to hold out for 11 turns. Because I know I can go in that file, I can say 5, or maybe even I'll just say 4. And then I'll get brilliant. A win. Because if... Because you can see the way I did this. They did not get any of my crowns. Not even one. And you have to hold all three. In, in five, in four turns. I'll say four turns. So yeah, if you have to cheat, if, if, because the way I would look at this, my friends, is that if the dev makes the AI cheat, right, then I guess as a player, I can make it cheat and say, I'll only put four turns and then I'll get a victory. That they, they have to take one of these crowns in four turns, otherwise I win. Instead, you know, they have 11 turns to just keep producing whatever they want to produce to destroy you. And eventually, you'll be destroyed. Like, if I was to get here, at, what would I get? 300? I might be able to make uh, one infantry unit of 290, like the, the, like the assault guy. I, I might, if I take this. But if, if you look at it on a logical sense, right? Um, did the enemy take anything of mine? No. Did I take something of the enemy? Yes. Right here. And so I made an, uh, a unit. But and look, they got a, they got what they got. A, they probably got a set of three here, set of three here. There, that's nine units. And nine, twelve, uh, 15, you know. What I mean, it's just it's just it's not. This is not fun in any regard. This is not like the regular campaign, okay? The enemy, if they play by the rules, they, they have to start with an army and they have to start with some prestige, right? Just like the player has his army and some prestige, depending on what happened in the last battle. Well, the, the AI should have the same rules. They shouldn't have an infinite amount that they can produce all these tanks. I mean, it's, it's, it's not fair. It is not fair at all. And, and granted, I'm going to tell you, we do not see those spawn points right now. So maybe they do that for the first five or six turns. But, but why don't you just fill this up with as many units as they're supposed to have to make this a, a, a challenging fight, but not give them unlimited resources. Uh, like, I, I just don't like it. I'm only putting this up to show you the frustration in this, okay? That's all I'm showing. Uh, this, this is what this video is about, is to show you this. And because this is a different battle than what's in the Rommel campaign. So, all right, now that I got that out of, out of the way. Oh, let me see. All right, let's, let's first go from the, the guys out here first. Let's see what they, c what they can do. I can get five, two, or five to two. Or I get a four right here. All right, so he got that kill. 
And now I'll go to this gun here. He can get a seven. But he, he got hit by three. Okay, you. Four to one. Oh, now I forget. Is it this tank? Is there... I want to just see something for a minute. Oh yeah, okay, so he's the guy. Yeah, because see, we did that because we knew he was close to death and he's got his AP thing, so then... Well, I could kill the Cav. So we killed the calf, so now we still have one more shot. We have one more shot. Now we can get five on him, but would it be better? Yes, and he, I, I, it could have been a miss, but um, I was, I was hoping to, to take him out because that is gonna be really nice. Now, could we? Let's see, what is, what's the next thing we could do? Three to two. Three to two. Three to two. Hmm. I'll, I'll try. Well, I could make defenses, or do I try to get him to survive? Let's go ahead. Uh, sorry for you know like the big rants that I've been doing, but I, I like I said, 
I'm just seeing if I can win this uh, under the rules, but um, I just don't like that they can have all that they can have. I because I think what it what what it does is that I mean I think after I kill a bunch of them, then all of a sudden they give them those things so they can have more coming. Like I I mean it, it's. Yeah, uh, uh, that's what I, I mean. I I don't know. All right, let, let's put this back down so I can see what's going on here. Okay. Like I said, we we did all that we could do over here, I believe. Well, I can get one shot with him. So why don't we do that? Oh no, he's out of ammo. He's out of ammo. Now this one is not out of ammo. So yeah, I forgot about him. Let's let's do the one shot that we can do. Yeah, I know. I know you might think it's silly having somebody here, but like I said, <laughs> I know the AI could do it. Like, just like I could do it to them. Like, maybe I could if if if. But I don't. Let's. I don't have all I all I have only because. I guess it's because we start with this airport, and we didn't take one of their airports to get to where we would get to drop a bomb or something. Like this is a defensive battle. So it's not like I'm going to come out here and get this. And, and as you can see, look, I had to hold each of these. All right, we're just going to burn a turn and let them have their... And so this is what I'm saying. If I set that to five turns, okay? And it's only in the extended version that I would make such changes. But I'm just letting you know. So right here, when they're done, I would have a victory. Let's see. If if I had set it to five. So they're resupplying everybody. See, this is what I mean. You have to have two AA guns to have a chance of knocking out those planes. Yeah, see, is a set of three that I told you just magically comes. And it's just a, it, like I said, it's just a constant thing. It's just a constant thing. See, the, and they're going to bring in three more units. And this is my biggest complaint. You've seen what they've had so far. See, and they push us off here. Now they just need to ride over here and they can take that from me. So, I mean, what I'm saying is that they already have those things well protected, okay, right? Those things are, see, I just lost another unit, but I had to, to stop them from gaining hexes. So, I would have a victory right now, and this would be over, and I'd have brilliant, and I would have whatever this thing says right here, okay? If I had it set at five, just hold my points for five turns. I'd have brilliant, I'd get 1200, I'd have unit, can't be unlocked for brilliant, yep, and then this one here, okay. and I get a tiger, and stuff. And so we're at a point now where I would have to do that in order to just walk away from this, because I just do not like the fact that that yep see look here it is it appeared again now that now it's still two see so I think what it is is every time you wipe out some of their units they respawn here so now they can bring in six units three on each hex that's six that I could see and then like I said Maybe the mortars here, maybe that, um, 
AA that that AT gun is there and then they got three right in here a and then they got this carbon and, and like I said it, it, it is it is the extended Rommel campaign is is ridiculous because it said and it was freely given to us as a DLC so I'm, you know so you can be thankful of that but at the same token they, they they should have made it some way where we could disable that <laughs> because I just I I won't play oh yeah and look they even got one right here one two three so that's nine units that they're gonna produce nine do you think what I have can stop nine more fresh big units I mean it, it's just 100 percent ridiculous and and uh, you know, and so if you see this video, um, this is showing you the frustration with this campaign. Um, but I, someone told me, and I know how to do it. I can go in and make this, because if you can see right here, um, I still own everything that I started with of places in five turns. But it might not be possible because I might lose here, like here, because this is what I'm talking about. Look, they produced a, an assault squad, a mechanized unit, and a medium tank, right? On top of that, they have another spawn point. I mean, this is like ludicrous. Do you realize, even though they're pushing forward, and I keep trying to push them back, they did not take anything from me other than they killed some of my units, right? So how do they get like 5,000 or 10,000 prestige to keep bringing fresh units? Like, let me have three of these that I can move all three in one hex that will attack. Give me 18, 20, 30 units, and, and then we'll see what the AI does with that. You know what I mean? I'm just, this is just, I mean, this is 100% frustrated. And so as a gamer, I have to go into the config file and just make it five. I could even make it four, because I know I can hold it in four. And, and we've already held out for five turns. And now we're on the six. And we still have you know five more to go I mean this uh, there's no way I can hold on when they can have three six nine nine high-end units I mean it, it's just not possible this is not possible and so let's see how this will go all right so again, I have this tank here. He's hurt. Three on two. Okay, I'm trying long distance. One more, one more shot. Can we do it? All right, so we killed him, but I used all my back stuff and I lost another AA gun. So now I only have two. Oh, cause he's right here. Yeah, we, we have some real problems.
Yeah, it's that double clicking stuff that makes him go forward. Oy, boy, this is crazy. Now, boy, this is really tough. Oh man, I'm just trying to decide what to do here. I just want to click on this unit. I want him to go here and dig in. Okay. Yeah, we still have that tank there. All right, let me see. Um, He's gonna dig in. Yeah, see, and, and if you look at these tanks, <laughs> they don't have any of they, they don't have any ammo. And, and and all I'm saying is this is a like I said, a losing proposition because you let me have unlimited three units that can spawn on these magical green uh, dotted uh, spawn points and I'm gonna have no problem with the game right I'm gonna have like three that's nine units that I'm gonna get so I can just keep wearing the enemy down and that's what they're doing to me they're wearing me down I mean I just got enough here to build one more infantry and, and I, the only reason I have that is because when we get kills uh, some of my units have trophy but now they're all out of ammo and I don't have time to recover these guys. Like, I just don't. And, and, and that's the biggest complaint because then I can't preserve these guys because of, this, because of the enemy getting nine units fresh every turn. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. It is 100% ridiculous. Because if you think this is not a problem, it is a problem. And if, and if they can reproduce it next turn, I mean, it's re it's a hundred percent ridiculous. So he's gonna have to resupply. Yeah, he's gonna have to resupply. He's gonna have to resupply. Oi, man, I don't know. Oh, that miss really hurts. It really hurts, my boy. Okay, you are going to have to, unfortunately, you're going to have to hit these guys. You, that's... And the mortar did that, so that is nice. And now I'm gonna have to send the mortar back this way because of this guy's coming. 
And so, what can I? And, and like I said, you know, you know, he's coming. You know, this guy will come. This one, this one, whatever they got here. I mean, it's just a non-stop thing. Um, so. Yeah, I don't think I can do much. So I can make a unit, right? So what's more important? And the only reason I get this is because, again, if we make kills, some of the units that I have will create a little bit of XP. So with this guy here, we're going to just uh, do that. Yeah, see, th they, they lost their morale because of the mortar. Oh, and this guy can... Yeah, defense. So that's nice. He, he upgraded, so that, that's really good. Um, like I said, we're probably going to lose uh, these two units. I mean, it was a possibility I could have brought them up here to double enforce this. But maybe having him here, maybe some will come over to hear him. I don't know. Yeah, this is going to get ugly now because of that. Let's see what happens, folks. See, we didn't kill that plane. Like I said, this is just, yeah, see, look, this is, this is just, this is just impossible. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And that's what's frustrating about this. So, yeah, I, I, I guarantee you, I, I'm going to have to go into the, 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 the SC and the screenshot, the screen file, and, and change this. Because this is just 100% ridiculous. I can't, there's no way I'm going to get to 11. There's no way. They just produced too many more units. They're, they're, they are not... They are not taking anything from me at this point. I'm at the seventh turn. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is why you don't see a lot of people playing this game. Because of this. Like, this is ridiculous. I could go defense, too. Um... But air accuracy is, is important. All right, let, let's let's just let's just try to cope with this for a moment. It's too bad they couldn't fire twice. Now this guy, yeah, see, he's hurt. Um. Man. Do I try to keep him alive? All right, now my... This tank. Okay, we got him. 
the, the, the only thing I don't like about this tank is he has a good punch, but he can only do one uh, until he gets leveled up. I mean, I need him to be able to sit somewhere and shoot two rounds, and he just can't do it. That's the only thing I don't like about this one. All right, so now and then we have him. He's got one more shot. Okay. And see, this is all, like I said, here's what I'm saying though. This is all fun and dandy, right? Or fine and dandy, right? But it's problematic of them having those magical spawns like it's gone now because they already produced the units like man if the human player could could magically have one two three four five and i don't know where the sixth one is like because i guarantee you they spawn three on every one of those dotted uh things because you can see how this group moved as a three and I'm just saying, you know what? You know that this would cost quite a bit for you to have all of this. He's gonna die, but there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I just got, I can only move him one space. This is, look at this onslaught right here. This, I, I'm not set up for it. <laughs> Just not. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and, and he's out of ammo. So. Do I for a moment let him have ammo? And then he's almost dead. I have to do this for him. Now this guy is okay. Could I move him? Gosh, I don't even know. I mean, he's only he's only gonna get killed in here. But we gotta make some kind of defense. He's worth ten. He's worth ten. These little guys ain't gonna be able to do it. Now I have to hit this guy. Unfortunately, this mortar goes here, he ain't gonna be able to hit him. And so, I'm not so. Oh, I'll move him to here. Now, we can do a bombing for the first time. I don't know why, but we can. If we do a bomb and they're far away, they can resupply themselves. So it might not be worth doing it. If they were adjoined to us, then we could do it because then they can't resupply. So we're going to lose this one. Unless I sacrifice him and put him here block this off so we block these hexes and the cavalry is going to be sacrificed too it appears right he'll go out overwatch this one will go on overwatch And this one will go on Overwatch. And uh, this one will go on Overwatch. 
and the only thing is if they have those little recon things it'll knock it all off but well, let's hope that they can do that well we have protection here so we'll just we'll put him on overwatch too Well, this is going to be challenging. Let me put it the AI here for now. But he still can't. So I'll put him on overwatch. And that is all that I can do on this side. And like I said, this this video is going to be long if it keeps on going. And, and, and I'm just showing you as a, you know, like a frustrated player of the extended version of how frustrating this kind of battle is because of a lazy dev creating a cheat engine that the AI has. So therefore, by me going into the thing and making it only five turns or four, then I'll get a, I'll get, I'll get a victory and I'll get out of this battle and move on to the next one. And if I have to do the same thing, then I'm going to have to do that because this is just 100% um, ridiculousness. Now I know I can choose not to play it, but then again, like I said, we can change the terms. So then that's something that I can do. Alright, so now I keep going on that rant. Now over here, what can we do? So the guys, other than this one, the guys in the backfield, they, um, I mean, it would be nice to go here and get the 300 so we can make another unit, but then he's going to be killed. And so we, you know what I mean? And he's the only guy in here. So. I just can't tolerate it. So when we let them have their turn, um, they'll see how much they push us here, and we'll see what what re what this group does to attack us, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, counter it. And then we'll probably see more of these those spawn things. And I'm and I'm just kind of saying that that this is a hundred percent frustration. Having some of these guys on Overwatch without them having the recon to knock it out uh, definitely helped out a little bit. But see, again, like I said, I, I know I'm going to lose the units, but I, I have to block them. You have to block them, otherwise, if you don't block them, if you don't block them, they're going to get closer and closer to the objective. So that's why I, even though, so I'm sacrificing these units. Because look at this. This is just a constant feed of it. You know, it's just a constant thing. Now, let me check. Okay, so I... I don't see 
this round uh, for their little cheek things at this time. So I'm just, I'm just obviously, you know, I'm, I'm giving you a report of this. So, okay. All right, how can we do this? Now it is, now we do have, finally we have bombing, a bombing run. So that might be effective right here. But let's see if I can get I gave him an accuracy thing, and I guess accuracy doesn't really work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or it's not enough. Uh, okay, so now what can we do? Alright, so these guys, uh, we'll go ahead and... Okay, so we got the restored. So we can put it on him. If we hit, we missed. Yeah, that double clicking thing, I, I do it. I get so excited that, um, you know what I mean? It makes him go forward. I, I I just wanted him to stay right where he was. Like that that's that's crazy. But all right, we killed two of their tanks. No. Ah, so he goes right where we can't see him. Let's try this. Whenever this unit participates in assault, the defender does not benefit from their entrenchment. Wow. Okay, so we have a problem, of course, like this, but let's see. Uh, we're gonna have to re resupply him. Like I said, they could have three units here. I, I, I mean, I know they might have, maybe it's just the mortar or, or, or mortars here and the, I don't know what's there. I mean, I, I just, man. All right, you gotta get over here.
Yeah, we're gonna have to bring a tank over here. Because they're, 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 they're mounted up here and it's, it's a big deal. I don't know. Okay, jack of all trades. All right, let's try this guy. Because if I get him here... I could kill him. And that's what we're going to do. All right, there. So he's a jack of all trades. He can shoot infantry or that. So we'll, we'll go with that. And now we have we have we have this. So we had that for the first time in this. Okay, so the cavalry is okay, so what we'll do is we'll put him... Yeah, let me think. Alright. Yeah. I mean, would it be possible... Because if we attack these guys right here, re regardless of what else is coming, but I mean... If we attack these guys, that they won't be able to resupply if we're on these hexes. If we leave a hex between them, they will be able to just go resupply. Oh, and the, and the thing, remember a while back, like this guy would be a half hour ago, I said the AI cheats, and they do. Because if you move, okay, so if I move a unit, right, I use up AP and I can't resupply them. And I saw over here one of their one of their units, like wherever I could show you one. Uh, well, uh, let's let's say this guy right here. He's only got two health, right? And I and this was during the attack where I have no control over it. This is when the AI is attacking us. Our our Overwatch hit somebody, so he was here. It's not this guy, but a unit like him, but it was over there. This guy went a hex, and then he did a re. Then it said he did a resupply. So do you see how that is? Like, if the AI can do that, okay, they can move plus resupply when they stop. Then that's something the human player cannot do, okay. And so that's another cheat that the AI does, and that's something that I observed happening. And if you if you reviewed the video, you, you'll be able to see that. Because he was the only unit in the hex and it said he resupplied. And he had moved away from, like say, here to there. At the, you know, at the moment I move a unit, I can no longer resupply. Like, but, but, okay, so, but, so, so that, that's what I wanted to mention. And I, I, I think because of so many things happening, and I go off on rants and I get mad about this because it makes this mission very ridiculous. But anyways, let's go ahead and, and like if I put the cav here and I try to kill this guy right here and he's successful. And now what I do, instead of pursuing any more, because it's only gonna get him killed because the ratio is bad, I'll just put him on overwatch. 
And so then, this poor cavalry must be resupplied. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, he can shoot, so then... Yeah, because we're, we're on this hex, but we, I need more on this hex, though. I don't know if I can put more on the hex. Okay, so notice how I moved him now, and now I can't resupply him. But apparently the AI can do that, and that, and that, and that is a cheat. Alright, I got him right here, so I guess he's going to hit them also. Okay, and now that moves them to there. <laughs> put a hit there then. I don't know what's there, but we'll do that. Okay, um, I put him over here so I'd be able to shoot them, but now he's here and he's going to shoot him if I shoot him. But we could take four on him. We'll only take a one loss, so let's try that. If this tank goes here, that'll put pressure on them. And if this mechanized unit goes there, and everybody else won't be able to do anything else, so, okay. Well, actually, the cavalry. Well, no, this unit. Oh, yeah, he could hit him. Oh, nice. Okay, so we killed him. And he can actually take two damage and give him maybe four. So why don't we try that? Yeah, we'll, we'll go with those odds there, and we'll try that. And so we might be able to kill this guy here. He's only got three health, and I think with him here and him here, he can't resupply unless he goes somewhere. So it's a good possibility that we could kill him. And so by moving all what I had over here to here to do this... But, you can look right here, look at, they got more coming right here. So now, again, he's there. I don't think there's anybody that I can put in there to help out. And so, yeah. All right, we're going to... So 
See, that's, that's, see, I mean, like I said, losing, like, I'm telling you, you have to have two AA guns in every area. I mean, that's my, that's what I've been noticing in the game, is that you gotta have two All right, so their their mortar and their their artillery, their mortar and their artillery, like. But see, okay, but see what they got there though. They they have three strong, and this is all I'm saying. Is each each one of each one of their hexes right that they own? They have multiple units just sitting there. You know what I mean? I'm just looking for those auto spawn points. So maybe at this point, because um, where are those auto spawns now? They're, they they don't seem to be here. Maybe it'll be next turn when they come back. But but let's get back to this for a minute. He's three. So. Who would be better at killing him? Alright, I moved here. Alright, we're finally going to take the chance to see if we can kill that mortar. Oh. He doesn't have any ammo. Darn it, I was gonna mortar him. All right, well, we'll take this guy. And we'll put, we'll put a, we'll put a hurt on him for now. All right, I'm gonna have to resupply him because he doesn't have morale because of that mortar. Same way with him. But he's gonna go there for now. He's hurt. I'm gonna resupply him. Now, this guy's not too hurt. So he's gonna go over here. And so the idea will be that we'll have these these four units. We got it. We, we, we. He's going to have to move because he, he can't resupply. A hey, matter of fact, if you look at it, he doesn't even have any ammo. So, so he's probably going to move. Or I could use this bomb to kill him, but... We'll have to see. Okay, now this guy leveled up. Anti-tank for now.
Uh, he, he's out of ammo, so he's gonna have to do that. I'll tell you what, we'll resupply the little guys. And I can't do that for him, but this guy... We still didn't kill this guy, so then... Do we just put a bomb on him? Alright, there we go. Now... Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. And see what we can do. Okay. All right. Well, I, c I can put I'll put him on Overwatch because next time I'll have to give him some uh, supply. Overwatch. And it's a shame that I'm not using these guys, but again, I know in this game uh, they they can do. An airdrop, and, I, and, I, and I'm just not gonna take that loss. <laughs> I'm not gonna allow it. Like, I have to have somebody there to at least defend. I mean. And then I'll put him on Overwatch, too. Now, if we get enough prestige, which I don't think we will, but. I, I might buy another AA gun if I, like, how much do I need for an AA gun? Well, you know, we're gonna just go ahead and do that. We'll re reinfortify this. And him, I gotta resupply. And those guys I could dig in, but they already, you know, I, I don't have to. All right, and this guy will just, will just dig in. All right, we're gonna just go ahead and do the turn. So, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Man, they still got that. Yeah, see, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a hard issue to deal with. We will kill that mortar, right? Not that one, but the other mortar. Or we might. I mean, it depends. Let me see about the spawn points. Yeah. So I wonder if they allow the AI to have those auto spawn things. And, and then at some point they stop it because I don't see them here now. So this, this, so I'm showing you as is without messing with the screen file. It, it, it might be possible to do this now that those spawn things ain't here anymore. But they still, but all I'm trying to say though is up until this point right now, right? 
it was very threatening that they could have done it. You know what I mean? Like, especially if they kept those 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 dotted lines. Uh, if they kept them for each turn, I mean, it, it would it would make this impossible. Okay. But I'm starting to feel confident at the moment because now we survived, I believe. <laughs> you did not kill him. Alright, there. Okay, now what to do? Okay, so we can see, we can see him right there. Now. Let me see what I can do about that. Oh, we'll only get three damage. Oh, but this one is a real big one right here. Okay. Now, where's my mortar? Oh, that was a take right there. A take right there. I pushed him out of there. I pushed him out with the mortar. Okay. Now, let's see. Is anybody strong enough to take him out? See you. Ah, uh, we can't see him. Can you see him? Yes, you can. All right, we got our first damage on him. So if an AA gun goes here, we can hit him. It's only two damage. Ah, uh, but this one can't hit him. And he's gonna need ammo too, by the way. Now this guy, I said I would resupply him, so we'll do that. Ah, he can't see him. Hey, and 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 we were we restored our AP. But all we can do now is just do this um, because we don't see what else we can shoot at. Oh, we can see them. 
Ah, oh, but we missed. We missed. Well, if he goes here... Does it get, you know... It'd be, it'd be terrible to lose a level 4 tank, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And he's a level 2, so we'll try one more shot. I hope we can hit him. And we did. So now that... So now we took out that mortar, because that mortar was constantly hitting us. And now that is good. All right, well, let's cycle through the units. Put him there for now. I'll put him on Overwatch. Now we just gotta get to turn 11, so we're all. We'll move him up a little bit. This guy will resupply. Like I said, I don't know if, for any reason, um, if, if, you know, he can kill one of us, but we're gonna do that. We'll put those guys there. And so we'll cycle through the units real quick. Actually, he, he can go right here. And it says he won't return fire, so we're gonna fire. And, and we took eight against him. Eight. I didn't even know he would be able to do that. I don't think this guy can shoot. I don't think this one can. Do I take a chance and send him out here? Oh, but he missed. He missed. All right, now, you know here, we with this prestige here, we could build an infantry unit, but we're not going to. So I'm just going to recycle through this real quick. Let's go, let's see. I think they have to have their turn for 10 and then we'll see on 11 if we win without them having a turn or we win uh, with them having a turn. Let's see. Finally, th that was nice. And that was nice. And now he got the fire. We got a mortar there and we got that gun there, so... Okay! So, again, we have to have, let the enemy have their turn. So we have this one turn to try to 
I don't see the auto spawns anymore. So I think, like I said, I don't know how many turns they had those auto spawns, but they don't have them now. So we should have a victory now out of this. And this is without screwing with the files in any way. But in this campaign, it has to be it. And I, and I didn't show you the whole thing. It's the only one that I'm recording because I just wanted to show the, the frustration involved with these auto spawn things. It's like very, very tough. But okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and see if we can kill... Okay, and we, and we regained our... So let's go... F do I go to see what they got over here? Or do I... Pursue this airport right here? Okay, so now I have this artillery, right? We can definitely soften these guys up by doing that. Oh yeah, see... Yeah, we're going to lose him. We'll resupply him. All right, my mortar. Let's see if my mortar can do anything. Man, it's hard to tell. Let's see. Hey, if they don't have anything here... <laughs> if they don't have anything here, we can take this. So that tank was there. But, they got the mortar and stuff, but we can't do anything else. But we just got this. And that would mean I have full use of these guys. All right, so it's a four on four. Or it's a four on him. And he can only shoot once for moving. Yeah, we might as well try. No, I don't like the odds. Alright, we killed him and it was restored. So we're just trying to pick on the ones that we can without getting totally hurt. Now, unfortunately, and this is the 11th turn, so it, it's, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, it would be foolish to lose a tank at this point. And, and this guy can't even get into a position to shoot. So these guys can't go that far. They're not. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh, that pushed him out. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, but they do... Okay, so they do have something here. So it's not going to be worth going there. So I think we just go over here. Maybe we can get another kill. Oh, if I can't get in there, though, I don't get the airport. I don't get the airport. We captured him and see how that gave us some XP. Yeah, this there's not going to be anybody that I, that could do it. I don't think. I can't claim the airport. Can't. Oh, that's frustrated. Oh well. All right. Well, I just gotta click it, see what the enemy does, and then that's about it. I can do, I guess. Well, somebody. Hey, wait. Somebody. Let's do this. The mechanized unit. Adds more entrenchment when building that, so we could do that. Or we could dodge tanks. I mean, uh, it, there's a lot of good stuff here, but we'll do that. And we just can't get on the airport. <laughs> that sucks. That really bites. Yep. Okay, well, we're done. Okay, let's just do it, folks. Oh, they had a recon, and they have the planes. Yeah, see, I, I, okay. We knew that he, you know, he was vulnerable. He only had two health. All right, and I got two achievements for that. And this is playing without messing anything up. This is like a legitimate play. So we got three stars in 12 turns. So, yep. All right, so I'm sorry that you heard me complain throughout this, but I wanted to show you this because this was not in the regular uh, German campaign, this particular battle. So I, I just wanted to show it. And there we have it. <sighs> I lost 10 units and stuff. And, it, it, and like I said, with those auto spawns, I mean, it made this very difficult. And, it, and it's a long video, so let's just let's see the video because it should be something different. Let's see. The British attack was successful, but it was slowed down thanks to the determined resistance put up by the Axis troops. 
As the retreat progressed, the supply lines of Rommel's troops shortened significantly, which would soon prove to be a benefit. The Allied forces were not able to enjoy their victory for long. In January 1942, Rommel unexpectedly launched a counterattack, pushing back the Allied troops by more than 400 kilometers. The African campaign is still far from settled. Okay, so that's Operation Crusader. Now it's still on easy RNG and difficulty scaler. Now, if um, if I continue this, now this was a legitimate win. Okay, no messing with the config to make the turns less. But um, but but you could do that. But that was a tough battle. Um, so they have auto spawns for f you know about five or six turns or something or seven and then they 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 take them off so i mean i don't know how to uh, other other than explain that but this one I'll, i just wanted to show you it for the frustration of the ex and don't forget you didn't see where i had to put it to five turns on this one and then i think uh this one i had to like put it to a lot of turns just to survive the waves and then this one was lily was even really tough i uh, can only get that in it and so but i didn't do any changes to this one so th this one here and and then i'll have to check the thing about second battle of uh tobruk or and then i don't think we had this in the campaign and I didn't think we had two Alamines. So I'll have to see. Maybe I'll try to show. Like I want to show the ones that were not in the German campaign. So anyways. With that said. Uh, no matter where you are in the world. Have a great day. Great afternoon. Great evening. Please take care of yourselves. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios amigos. And adios lovely amigas.